Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology, and today we have a special episode of A State of Sight for our patients who may be considering laser vision correction. If you've scheduled with us to come in for a free evaluation, first we will check your medical history and your eye history to see if you have any medical problems or any problems in the eyes in the past besides glasses or contacts. Next, we will check the vision of both eyes to see how well you are currently seeing with your glasses or contacts. Then we perform two special tests with the technician, corneal topography and a wave scan. First, the corneal topography takes a map of the cornea or the clear shield that covers over the front of the eye. The cornea is where we change the shape with the laser to include the power from glasses or contacts onto the eye. The corneal topography gives us an idea about the curvature and the shape of the cornea, which we need to know to see if you qualify for surgery. Next, the wave scan test maps a wavefront image that shows how light passes in and out from the eye. This is unique to each person, a little bit like a fingerprint, and gives us an idea of the prescription that you would need to get the best vision that you can have. After this, I will perform an eye exam to look at the eye and the health of the eye. If you have a problem with the cornea or cataract, you may not qualify for LASIK. During this visit, we do not need to dilate your eyes to take a good look inside the eye at the retina, but if you do qualify for surgery, we will dilate the eyes before surgery. After the eye exam, I will take an ultrasound instrument to measure the thickness of the cornea. The thickness of the cornea is important because some people whose cornea may be too thin may not qualify for laser vision correction or they may only qualify for PRK and not LASIK. Those two types of procedures, PRK and LASIK, are the two forms of laser vision correction that I perform. Some patients have a choice between either procedure or other people may not have a choice and may only have to go with one or the other. If you have a choice, we can talk about the differences between the two to help you make the best decision. And also, if you look back at episode number six of A State of Sight, I go into more detail about the differences between LASIK and PRK. Then, after all of these tests and measurements, I will determine if you're a candidate if you qualify for surgery. Then, you could schedule a pre-op visit where we make the final plan for surgery, and after that you could have surgery as soon as the next day. We hope to see you soon when you come in for your visit, and if you have any questions, remember, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks again for joining us, this time on A State of Sight.